Hey everybody, it's Jill Celeste. Happy Monday. I hope you had a great weekend full of love and self-care. I know that I did and I'm ready to get this week rocking. But before I get too much into my work, I wanted to just shoot this Facebook Live to talk about something that feels a bit like an elephant in the room for some of us in the spiritual realm, and that is Doreen Virtue and her stuff. <laughs> so um, this weekend I was doing some watching of videos by Colette Baron reed and she was talking about oracle cards and all of that. And, it, and, and in the video, she was teaching, you know, how to ask the right question, et cetera, et cetera. And she said, you should practice with your card decks. And it got me thinking about the card decks that I own. And in fact, I have with me, and I know you can't see them all, I have all but one of my card decks. And as you'll notice, whoop, this way, they are card decks from Doreen Virtue. There's my angel one. They're all wonderful card decks. The Jesus one, don't dream. Messages from heaven, which helped me so much with my dad, and one for Archangel Raphael. So when she said that, I thought, oh, I don't know if I can do that. Because what I had done was I had taken my stack of Dorian Virtue cards and I had put them in a file cabinet. And here's why. So for those of you who are familiar with Doreen Virtue, she's been on a journey, a, 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 her own sort of spiritual religious journey. And oh gosh, I don't even know how long ago, it was a year ago, two years ago, she has um, proclaimed that she's a born again Christian and has denounced her new age thoughts. And a lot of Doreen's career has been focused on new age, law of attraction, talking to angels, etc. And uh, when she made the announcement, I'll be honest, I was, I was sad because I really looked up to Doreen. Um, I really cherished her teachings and her guidance. She has a beautiful voice. I loved listening to her. And I really enjoyed um, her products. I, I thought they were always well done. And I admired, as a marketer, I admired how prolific she was. She was always creating books and card uh, decks and videos and she had the animal uh, ref rescue and all this, I and mean, she was so prolific, and that's what I want to be. So when she decided to uh, change her journey and become uh, a born again Christian, um, I was sad. I was not surprised per se because she always talked about Jesus in uh, her books, and you know, even the card, this card deck about uh, Jesus was was printed well before her conversion. Um, so she's always been a fan of Jesus, as am I. And um, so I wasn't really surprised, but I did feel a, a loss. And, you know, since then, of course, uh, she's written some things that have upset me or I disagree with. But all in all, um, you know, I respect her decision. And it's, it's something that she had to do to feel good. And she's still a light worker in my eyes. And she's doing what she needs to do to serve her purpose. Whether we agree with it or not is really irrelevant. But where I was having a trouble was when she made this announcement having uh, what how many decks? Six decks of her cards, plus, oh gosh, probably four or five of her books on my shelf, plus a subscriber to her videos and all of that. I'm like, what do I do? Because to me, it felt like because the creator of the card deck was no longer a believer of what was in the card deck. If there was a, it was a, there was a misalignment there. You know what I mean? And so I didn't know how to rectify that. It just felt out of alignment. So I took all the cards, including my favorite, which is the Archangel Gabriel card deck. And I put them in a file cabinet drawer because I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to throw them away, but at the same time, I didn't want to use them. So they've been in my drawer for quite a while. And so I was watching these videos from Colette Baron Reed, and she was again, as I mentioned earlier, she was talking about, you know, your that card deck, the cards, oracle cards, are a communication tool, and and they're a way to communicate with spirit, universe, God, or whatever you know, whatever your belief system is. And I started thinking about that. And I thought, you know what? Does it really matter that Doreen Virtue now? 
doesn't believe in this, doesn't it matter more that the time when she created this material is that, that she created it out of love and out of a place of service and in alignment to what she believed at the time? I know it's not what she believes now, and she's been quite vocal about that, but at the time, wasn't that the truth? And aren't these really just communication tools? Aren't they just vessels? And I'm not trying to minimize that because that is very important. But what's more important is the line of communication, and that is from my heart to spirit. And this, these card decks are just a way, one way, to communicate that. So when I started thinking about that, I decided to pull the cards out from the drawer today. And I decided, you know what? They were intended for me to use. They were created by someone who believed in them and who created them out of love and out of service to her audience at the time. And though I know now she doesn't believe in New Age thought and has really denounced it, that's okay. Because these are just vessels. These are just lines of communication. And so I have decided that I'm going to continue to use her product. I won't purchase any of her products, um, any new of her new age products at least, going forward because that feels out of alignment. But the ones I already have possession of, to me, I think it's okay to use. So I want to ask my community, those of you who have Doreen Virtue cards, books, um, maybe you attended her angel, uh, angel classes, whatever the case may be. What are you doing with her stuff now that she has changed thoughts? Now, I will say it because I want to hear your comments, but I do ask that we stay civil and loving and nice. Let's not bash Doreen, um, even though maybe she has upset you, and she's upset me too. But let's remember we're all humans. We're all on different parts of our journeys. We make mistakes or we change our mind or we go on a different arc and that's part of that journey. And even if she's upset you, let's not make this personal against Doreen, okay? That's my only wish. But I do wanna hear your thoughts about what you're doing with your Doreen Virtue stuff. Are you still using her cards, for example? Do you still read her books? Do you still um, you know, think about advice that she might have given in the past? Are you still following her? You know, because she still has quite a platform. Um, are you still following her? I did for a little bit, and it just, I didn't, it just didn't resonate with me. So I stopped. I ended it lovingly. And that's okay. Uh, hi, Victoria. So I'm curious to know. Let me know, um, you know, are you still using her cards? Gwen, Gwen says she's still using her cards. Awesome. Thank you, Gwen. Uh, I'm glad I pulled them back out. I actually feel a sense of relief. Now that I made the decision, it was like, yeah, there's that, you know, remember the expression, the albatross around your neck? <laughs> it was a bit of an albatross for me because this is, a, a, you know, Doreen Virtue was a spiritual mentor for me, a spiritual guide, guide or guidance system for me. And um, I still think she can be, even if she doesn't embrace that role in the, with the, that belief system, that's okay. That's okay. And I wish Doreen nothing but love and a continued success in her journey. And I wish her well. And I hope that I hope that she my 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 hope, if I could say this out loud, is that in right now she's kind of steered all the way over here uh, to the Christian uh, thought process, which is wonderful. There's no problem with that. But I I think I see her as maybe bridging the two, and I see her kind of coming back around a little bit, maybe not as far over but coming back around and bridging them i know she's denounced it and i know i've read the blog posts um but I, that's my that's my hope is that she can really be a great connector um because to me christianity and law of attraction talking to angels and new age go together like peanut butter and jelly um but that's my thought process so i'm just curious to know what you're doing with your Doreen virtue products are you still using them did you have to discard them i'm also curious to know if you felt a loss when she um, made the transition into a different belief system. And, you know, did you feel lost like I did? I'd be curious to know that as well. So many of you have joined me, so please make sure to say hi in the comments below. Again, let me know your, your thoughts and your opinions on the Doreen Virtue. And uh, remember to keep the, keep the conversation 
full of integrity and full of positivity and full of light. So that's my spiel for today. I appreciate you watching. I am sending you all so much love. I hope you have a fantastic Monday, and I'll come back and read your comments as you bring them on, okay? Mwah! Talk to you soon. Bye.